here is iTunes. iTunes is both compatible with Mac and PC. So if you guys have a Windows computer, you guys can download iTunes and it works just fine. So once you guys have downloaded iTunes, just open it up and hook up your iDevice. So if you guys have an iPhone, iPad of touch, just hook it up to your computer and then you should see on your iTunes top left hand side this icon. Plus, most likely you guys won't get a message right away saying that you guys need to update your iDevice, okay, to the latest iOS. So right here, I will see this, okay, or a similar icon to it. So just click on it. So that's my top left hand side. And then I will get a screen like so. So I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. At this point, what I want you guys to do is pick back up now. Okay, so that's right here. And I want you guys to pick this computer. So not iCloud. I know most of you don't want to pay for iCloud. Good for you because Apple has messed up their code. And the five gigs that we had before, which was way more than enough to back up our iPhones, iPad up touches, no longer works. Let's just do it right here on iTunes, which is free. So if you guys click on backup now, if you guys are having any problems with your iDevice syncing, just make sure it's unlocked. Okay, so unlock it then scroll through some apps. Don't open them up. Just make sure it's unlocked and that way everything will sync up nicely. It's very important to make this backup and every time we do an update on your iDevice, just in case something goes wrong, because that can happen. And then if something does go wrong, we're going to have to restore your iDevice. That means we're gonna wipe everything out so you would lose everything from your iDevice and then we're gonna have to restore everything back to it. That's why we made this backup. After our backup is done, we should see something like this, so just nothing really. And then we can just go into update, which is up here. So at this point, let's just click on update and we should see a message like this popping up, okay? So let's just click on update. Then we're gonna see this window. Let's just click on next, click on agree. Then we're gonna see a message like this. So I'm going to your iDevice, such as your iPhone, and just put in your passcode. Once you put in your passcode, it's gonna automatically start the update. So up here, we should see this message, iTunes downloading a software update. So that's exactly what it's gonna do. It's gonna download and then install. At this point, since you guys have it connected to your computer, just leave it alone. It's gonna download, it's gonna install by itself, and you guys are set. Then, you guys will see this screen right now. It's gonna say verifying iPhone update. So, your iPhone, iPad or touch should go into a screen where you just see the Apple logo plus a loading bar. So right now, you should see Apple logo, a loading bar, and this screen on your iTunes should just say verifying update. Again, do not disconnect it. Do not touch your iPhone, iPad or touch. Do not disconnect it from your computer at this point or at any point during this entire process. Okay guys, so after just a little bit, you should see something like this. So just putting your password at this point and you are pretty much all done. So if you guys go back into settings on your iPhone, iPad Pro Touch, go into general, software update, it's gonna say this, you're up to date. And that's it. So if you go back into iTunes, so in iTunes, we should see this screen where it tells you the same thing, iOS 12.4, which is the latest update right now. So this entire process of downloading plus installing the update shouldn't have taken you guys more than five to 10 minutes. Sure, with slower Wi-Fi, this could take up to 30 minutes if you have to have really, really slow Wi-Fi. However, for most of you, just five to 10 minutes and you're all set. Now, there is an option down here below just for those of you who don't want to hook up your iPhone every time you guys want to sync up any stuff from your iTunes onto your iPhone, iPad or touch, just go right up down here where it says options. So down here below, and you guys can just check off sync with this iPhone right here over Wi-Fi. And that way you don't have to hook it up using a cable in order to transfer anything from your iPhone to your Mac. Anyways, that would be it for this video tutorial. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write them down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.